Yo, what is going on guys? It is JD here back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory, episode number 99. So tomorrow we're going to have the special 100th video. Uh, I might have face cam for it, I'm not sure yet. I still need to get a few things done for the setup. Uh, but my plan is to have it done either tomorrow or definitely by next week. So that is going to be coming. It's only taken us 100 episodes, but that is going to be added uh, to the channel from now on, which I think will be pretty damn cool. So today we are going to be doing something that was recommended to me in the comments uh, by somebody who I can't remember right now, but we'll find it later on. Uh, and he said to build a team of either emeralds, sapphires, rubies, etc. and try and go 12-0 with it. Now, today we are going to try and build an emerald squad that I think could go 12-0. and 0. So depending how long this video Video is we will go into one game of my team unlimited uh, and chances are I'm not going to have time to play 12 and 0 uh, or 12 games realistically uh, with any of these teams that he has suggested uh, just because time is pretty much of the essence uh, at the moment just seem to have absolutely no time on my hands to play but I have done a few more games since yesterday's video so for you guys obviously you're seeing this today on the Friday but I'm actually recording it on the Thursday a couple of hours after uh, episode 98 so we have had a few things sell so all of these cards are still up in the auction house but we have had three more sell so another three cards selling for over three and a half k which is of course fantastic I've also gone ahead and played one game of domination and I completely forgot to put my nuggets players on the end of it so that's an extra 500 MT I should have had so we went ahead uh, and got up to 75 token, uh, 75 stars, sorry, we beat the Pistons, so only need five more games now of the regular teams, and then of course the three all-time teams, which is very exciting. I also went ahead and did one of the weekly challenges, which was uh, the Heat Check Grizzlies, again, nice and easy on pro difficulty, and that gave us some opportunities to get some stuff done for Evo cards. So Jamal Crawford has just been in the squad. I haven't actually been using him for anything. So that's why he's at eight games. But his stats are pretty lacklustre. But if we come down here, these two guys are the ones that I am Evoing at the moment. So we've got Jameer Nelson. Played six games, up to 113 assists already. And 22 threes, not bad. And then Dwight Howard coming in. He's finished his blocks now. We've got all 20 of them. And then we're on. Uh, we're over halfway on the points and on the blocks, which is awesome. And it's really not going to take us too long. So... On average, in a domination game, I can get 90 points and around 20 rebounds, which isn't too bad. Uh, and then on the weekly challenges, I get anywhere from 40 to 50 to 60 rebounds uh, if a game goes really crazy. Uh, and along with like 20, 30 points, something like that, which isn't too bad. So the points I can easily get done in domination, the rebounds easily get done in uh, the weekly challenges. So we should have him an amethyst in the near future, which is awesome. Uh, and then, of course, yeah, Jameer Nelson. Let's just take a quick price check on, on him. I haven't checked his price in quite some time, but hopefully it's actually uh, still pretty damn high. Of course, the amethyst is still worth absolutely nothing, but hopefully this diamond is still a little bit expensive. It's not. It's come down quite a bit. It was at like 85 to 90k. He's down at 70k now, so uh, that is really disappointing. But... At the end of the day, we need a point guard to actually assist Dwight. Uh, Jamal Crawford can't do it because he's still a shooting guard. He only gets the point guard position when he does get evoed up. Um, so we're going to need someone for the assists, and we might as well use it on a card that can be used as an evo. And he's getting points along the way because, of course, when I am just going for the rebounds with uh, Dwight, wow, with Dwight, I'm just chucking up threes, and occasionally he's actually hitting them. I haven't tried to score in any games with this Jameer Nelson card, and he's already hit 22 threes, which is kind of mad. Uh, and yeah, he's up to 113 assists, so not bad. We should have him done, and at the end of the day, it is 70k, and it is a lot better than nothing. So, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So, as you can see, I'm O and O. I haven't played my team Unlimited for quite some time, uh, since we had our weekly objective to win 25 games, which was uh, last week or the week before, I think. So, haven't played it in a little while, so it might be a little bit rusty. Um, but, as you can see, this is the squad I was running with, so no emeralds in sight. But today, we are going to see if we can make a squad full of emeralds and take it into My Team Unlimited and get a dub. First things first, actually, we have a locker code from yesterday that I forgot to f put in because uh, that's just how clever I am. Um, but, sadly, it's not a incredible locker code, which is probably why I forgot about it. So, it is just for one and a half or two and a half or 4,000 MT, I believe. Uh, so, you know what, I'll definitely take 4K MT if we can get that. If not, it is still some bonus MT just for putting in a code, which, of course, doesn't take too long. So, obviously, we always prefer the ones that have tokens because tokens are, in my opinion, more valuable than MT. But if we can get a couple of thousand, we're going to be very happy with that. So, let's see what the board is looking like. Let's get this in here and let's hope that I've done it correctly. We have. Right, let's take a look. 
So we get the uh, little animation pop up. And then so we got blue, which is one and a half. Green is two. And then the purple or the pink is four. So we need to get it right on the end. And uh, I'm absolutely nowhere near. But we did drop it there when we needed the tokens. And it found its way all the way over to the corner. Uh, and it's definitely not going to do that. Okay, we've got the middle. That's not the worst. Uh, it could have been one and a half thousand. It's two thousand. Not much better. But it is still 2,000 MT joining this club. So we'll take that. Thank you very much, 2K. It is better than nothing. So let's get into it today and let's build an Emerald squad that I reckon could go 12-0 in the right hand. Now, one thing to note, I am not the best 2K player and I will be the first to admit that. This year especially, uh, I am just not very good. Um, so LVG or anyone else really would have a better chance of doing this. Uh, I know people like DVG are so good this year uh, and that is definitely way, way above me. Leagues above me. Uh, so they could probably take an Emerald squad to go 12-0. So this is a squad that I think would be able to go 12-0. Whether or not I could do it is a whole different story. But I reckon other people could definitely, definitely do it. So let's get into this today and let's drop in. Uh, from the bench, we'll work our way up. So on the bench, we are going to have big old Boban Marjanovic. And of course, height this year is so important. That's why you still see people running George Murasan because height height is so important so we've got a seven foot three center coming in uh he doesn't really have anything he has a 95 standing dunk which is good but he has an 84 block 82 interior d 88 on the rebounding and that is pretty much it and of course he's seven foot four so he's got a ridiculously big wingspan so you got him there as a defensive rock down in the paint and at the end of the day sometimes that's all you need you don't need to have somebody who's going to stretch floor you just need someone who's going to be there on the defensive end for you Right, at the power forward position off the bench, we are going to have PJ Washington. And he is going to come in as a moments of the week card, uh, and not too expensive. So Boban is, of course, a rewards card, so a couple of tokens for him. And then PJ Washington, as I said, is a moments of the week card. So he comes in with eight gold badges, which isn't too bad. A couple of them are nice. Green Machine, he does have quick draw, he does have flexible release. In terms of his stats, he's got an 84 mid, he's got an 85 three, he's got an 80 driving dunk. He's got 75 block, 75 interior D, so not awful. And then decent-ish speed, decent-ish rebounding. He's quite a well-rounded, balanced card. He's pretty average, but he does have really nice shooting and dunking. So for a power forward, a stretch power forward, PJ Washington, a very, very good option there to have, in my opinion. Next up, at the small forward position, we are going to be going with James Posey right here in front of us. So he is from the Spotlight Series KG. And of course, with the Spotlight Series Super Packs out, his price will have plummeted. I think I only picked him up for like 1.5k or something like that, but his price will have come down even further. So he comes with gold catch and shoot, gold corner specialist, hot zone hunter, and we've got silver clamps on him. So that is really, really nice. So he's got 78 mid, 83 three ball, which is respectable, and then 86 perimeter D, which is fantastic. And then again, not the best speed, but still manageable. So a really good uh, 3 and D player right there in James Posey. Next up at the shooting guard position, we're going to have someone from the lights out set. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to have someone from the multi-dimensional set. I know it was one of those premium sets. So it comes with 16 gold badges. So quite a few gold badges for an emerald card. Uh, to catch and shoot, we've got corner specialist. We have got flexible release green machine, hot zone hunter, hot start. All of these guys so far have had Steady Shooter, which is a bit of a shame because uh, that badge obviously is not great. But at least they've all had it at the gold level. Anything lower than gold, if you have it at bronze and silver, it is really bad. Uh, but again, gold is a little bit better, but it's still not a good badge to have on your players. But at the end of the day, it's on so many players, you don't really have a choice. So in terms of Pat Connaughton's stats, we've got an 80 driving lap, 84 mid, 85-3. 85 driving dunk as well. His ball control is a little bit lacking, which is a shame, as is his defense, but he does have quite a bit of speed. So offensively, Pat Connaughton, very, very nice indeed. And then at the backup point guard position, we are going to be going with a guy from Domination, and he's there. He's literally the first player right in front of me. And Fernie Simmons, Simons. Oh, I've been told how to say it before. I think it's Simons. Uh, I think someone described it as Diamonds, but Simons. Uh, so I think it's Anferny Simons. Uh, and he comes in with 20 gold badges. Of course, he is from Domination. He is a one Evo level card. So you get him an 80 rated out Emerald. And then you Evo him up to this 83 rated card. Again, he comes with Steady Shooter, which is a shame. But he also comes with Giant Slayer. We've got Slithery Finisher. We have got Quick First Step, which is a massive badge. And he has Range Extender. So Range Extender on an Emerald card at 6 foot 4, which is pretty damn good. So he comes with a 79 driving layout. We've got an 80 mid and 83. 75 driving dunk. 86 ball control, which is fantastic. Perimeter defense is pretty damn awful, and speed is nice and high. So this card actually reminds me of the 
uh, rookie Steph Curry from last year, who was an emerald, who I absolutely loved. That card was so much fun. Uh, and he obviously had limitless range, and this card has range extenders. So Anthony Simons coming in as a very, very nice backup option at the point guard position. Right, let's get on to the main big boys. So at the centre position, we're going to have Sean Bradley. Who else are we going to have there other than the seven foot six giant coming in? I've played 130 games with him, so I know what I'm talking about with this guy. And he comes with Gold Intimidator, Brick Wall, Back Down Punisher, and a Rim Protector as well. And that is what you need him there for. And again, similarly to Boban, doesn't really have too much going for him, but he does have an 80 free throw. So if he goes to the line, he's going to be knocking them down. He's got an 89 block, 80 interior D, and then 80s for the rebounding. But seven foot six height is absolutely key this year. Uh, and of course, having someone like him down in the paint is only going to serve you well. Now, at the power forward position, we're actually going to have a small forward, and it is going to be Jason Tatum standing there uh, at the front again. Now. Uh, he's not exactly going to be the best in terms of his height. He does come in at six for eight, and again we've got P uh, PJ Washington coming in at six for eight. So we're a little bit undersized at the power forward position. Now you could run. Uh, who else is it? Uh, it is Channing Fry, who is somewhere around here. There we go. So Channing Fry could be an option um, coming in as a stretch big, of course, uh, with the 84 three point, 82 mid range. Uh, but defensively, he is an absolute liability. And in terms of his speed. Also a complete liability. Um, but if you just want someone who's better on shooting and a bit more height and physicality, I guess um, Channing Fry would be the guy for you. But Jason Tatum comes in with Hot Start and Green Machine. He has a 13 silver badges and five bronze. We've got Stop and Go. We've got Dead Eye, Hot Zone Hunter, uh, and then a couple of bronze badges. And then his stats are really nice and well-rounded. So we've got an 84 driving layup, 77 mid, 78 three, 86 driving dunk, 77 ball control, 75 perimeter D and 75 speed. So nice and well-rounded there on Jason Tatum. He doesn't sell at anything, but he's not bad at anything either, which is important. At the small forward position, we are going to have OG Ananobi. Now, if he's the same height as Jason Tatum, which I think he is, he is. So we will swap these two guys around just because OG is a bit of an animal on defense, as we will see in a second. So seven gold badges, catch and shoot, corner specialist. We've got quick draw on him, green machine, hot zone hunter. And then in terms of his stats, we have got a 92 three-pointer, 80 driving dunk, 76 mid-range, so a little bit lacking there. But look at that defense. 86 block, 88 steal, 86 perimeter D. Incredible. And then 81 speed as well. So at the power forward position, this guy's going to be absolutely incredible. Rebounding wise, he's a massive liability. I did not realize it was that low, but I think his other stats more than make up for that, in my opinion. Right, moving on to the shooting guard position, we are going to have uh, someone who people think could win the Rookie of the Year this year, and it is Kendrick Nunn, who comes in, of course, as an Evo card. But when you Evo him, he does go up to a ruby card i believe i think he does anyway so he is a little bit undersized at six foot three so we might interchange him with the point guard depending on how tall he is uh, but we'll check in a second so if you are interested in evoing him you need to score 67 points in a single game not too bad he comes with three gold badges relentless finisher contact finisher and fancy footwork but in terms of his stats we've got really nice offensive stats 85 driving layup 79 mid 87 3 85 for the driving dunk and we've got 80 passing across the board pretty much and then 80 perimeter d as well as an 82 steal and 80 speed so really really nice and well-rounded card for kendrick nunn and then at the point guard position we're gonna have Devonte graham and he comes in at six foot two so he is a little bit shorter than kendrick nunn so uh, you have a little small backcourt here um but then it's six for eight guys here and then of course sean bradley rocking it down in the paint so you've got one giant on the team that can obviously lock things down in the paint and then Devonte graham of course has a ruby card which is fantastic he comes with gold catch and shoot difficult shots we've got steady shooter we've got quick draw flexible release green machine so really nice badges and then we have in terms of his attributes we've got 79 driving lap we've got 84 3 88 uh i know 88 three ball 84 mid range 86 ball control so we can speed boost 80 perimeter d which is good and 85 speed as well so that is a really really solid well-rounded team in my opinion. So we'll just round off the bench here and we will put in the Channing Fry. We will also put in uh, someone who I think I might have as a uh, Emerald. I do. So I've got, or as a Sapphire. So I've got Hedus Herkulu as a Sapphire. So we'll quickly go ahead and swap him out for one of these Emerald ones that we got sitting here. So we'll send this one to my auctions. And Hedus Herkulu, of course, isn't the best at the Emerald level, but is still 
a fantastic card. And at the end of the day, it's just fun to have a Hidu Turkulu card sitting on your squad. So let's get him in here. Uh, and again, in terms of his stats, they're not the best at this level, but he is still a six foot ten card with a 76 three pointer uh, and 78 ball handling, which is not too bad at all. But of course, he is a lot better when you Evo him up. And then at the point guard position, as a third string option, we will have Bob Sura, who comes in uh, as a very early token reward card. So a lot of people have this card. And he just has nice well-rounded stats. And he's got a bit more height and physicality at 6 foot 5. And again, really nice and well-rounded stats. He can speed boost, he's got good shooting, and he's nice and fast as well. So that is a full Emerald team. And in my opinion, a pretty damn fun and unique Emerald team as well. And yeah, this Kendrick Nunn, very nice card. Devontae Graham, of course, very nice card. Jason Tatum and OG. Uh, OG is a very fun card to use. People don't think it's going to be a beast on defense, but he is an absolute pest. And of course, Sean Bradley just is... Sean Bradley, like he is so, so good. So let's go ahead and take this. Oh, let's get some more MT. Josh Hart selling for 3.8k. We're down to 18 cards to sell now. Uh, so that is absolutely fantastic. We got a bid on the Seattle Arena, and that is actually the last arena we need. So I picked up the Houston one that we needed uh, for 1500 MT. So we're down to just needing one more arena, which is awesome. So fingers crossed we get that pretty quickly. But let's go ahead and jump into a game today and see if we can get a dub with this team. Now, like I said, I'm not the best player. So if I do lose this game, don't take this as this is a bad squad. Because in my opinion, it is a fantastic squad. I've used all of these players at some point throughout this year. And they've all been very, very fun indeed. Uh, so yeah, a better player would definitely, in my opinion, be able to take this squad and go 12-0. And it's not an expensive squad either. None of those players are going to cost you much. Some of them you'll be able to get for discard value. Some of them are three tokens from the reward market. So yeah, it's a very cheap squad. And in my opinion, it's going to be a very fun squad. So fingers crossed we can get a nice, easy, chill opponent today who's not going to super sweat and is not like overall cheesing or something like that. That'd be great. But you know what? We'll see in a sec. All right, we've got an opponent. So... What is he going to be rocking? Hopefully it is something similar to what we've got. Obviously we don't exactly have a super OP team. And he does have... Alright, I'd say that's similarly matched. He's got the Ruby starter Derek Rose coming in. He's evoed him up. Thomas or T. Legler, whoever that is. Never heard of him, not going to lie. Uh, Daniel House, who's not a great card. Ryan Anderson, who of course is awful on defence. And then Boogie Cousins down at the centre position. So Sean Bradley should... Be able to eat down low against him. Sean Bradley does, of course, have the gold back down Punisher badge, uh, Punisher badge, which is, of course, very, very important this year. So let's get some offensive settings in here. Uh, not going to go too try hard mode, but you know what? We might as well get as best gameplay out of these guys as is possible. So fingers crossed for a nice cheese-free game with no delay, no latency. Uh, that is a dream, of course. But whether or not that actually happens, uh, we, we will find out. So. Let's get in all our offensive settings. Looks like this guy is going to be off-balling, which is nice and cool. Uh, so we are going to have to just try our best uh, to get him out of that. So we are on the floor out one in, of course. Uh, we're going to go in here, and he's kind of fallen asleep. Wow, that is a slow release for Kendrick Nunn. He's actually made that. <laughs> I have no idea how. Uh, that is the first time I've shot with him in a long time. And that was a slow ass release, but it actually worked, which is pretty damn nice. So Derek Rose taking a three. I'm happy with that. Kendrick Nunn with the board. Let's get this up to Jason Tatum. Let's see where he's going to go. We'll go inside, and that was not where it was meant to go. But look at Jason Tatum on the boards. Uh, and again, it is Sean Bradley on the boards, and it's kicked out to OG Ananobi. It's a little bit of a bad release, uh, and Sean Bradley jumped a little bit too early on that. He's going to go out to the wing. Look at that. Read it like an absolute book. Sadly, we did not get the rebound. So this is a nasty mismatch there with Ryan Anderson. That's a full white glitch. Well, that's off, and we're off out again in transition. So can we get something to go here? Uh, we're going side one more to Sean Bradley. Don't you dare get stopped by him. There we go. Sean Bradley with two boards and two points already in a very, very quick start to this game. So it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to these cards again. Uh, Sean Bradley is about the only one that I feel comfortable using straight away. And look at that. Derek Rose going in over. Uh, who is that? Over OG Ananobi. Okay. Well, I thought his defense was a little bit better than that. Uh, this guy is still off balling on Kendrick Nunn. So we are going to call for a little bit of a cut. And get him to go straight to the rim and throw that down. So all of my guys have really good dunking. Oh, he's really just going to turbo to the rim every time. We'll get out of here. Devontae Graham with the stop. He gets the offensive ball, but that's fine. Uh, in future, we're just going to have to get uh, Sean Bradley down in the paint as quickly as is possible. Again, this guy has just switched to being off ball. God damn. How frustrating. All right, Sean Bradley, get out of the paint. Uh, Sean Bradley, get out of the paint. And we'll call for a cut. Even though he's controlling that card and hasn't pressed square... Uh, he still gets the board. So you know what? We're going to off-ball this guy because uh, I really can't stand people who do that. Like, 
How can you enjoy playing like that? I don't know. Derek Rose with another quick bucket. So Derek Rose absolutely lighting it up. Uh, so who is he choosing to off-ball on? Uh, it is going to be whoever's in the corner. So we'll call out Jason Tatum. Uh, we'll see if we can get him to actually uh, try and play some defense. But no, as soon as we call to, uh, to get this guy, he comes off of him. Uh, and that is just going to be so... Oh, this game is going to be so dead now. Uh, why do people have to play like this? I just don't understand it. So we do have our play to run. Oh, that was not where it was meant to go. And how is that not a foul? God damn, I do not know. But anyway, let's go ahead and put on the quick through STS play. Because uh, if he is off balling, obviously that play is going to be absolutely money. So fingers crossed uh, we can absolutely abuse him with this. We are going to off ball on defense because you know what? Fuck people that play like this. Absolutely pathetic. I do have to take advantage of Sean Bradley. I've got to remember that next time down. Uh, he is going to be a key. That is a horrendous shot. And Sean Bradley is on the board. So fast break points are going to be very important. Let's go there and then let's go one more out to the corner. Jason Tatum is fading away. And that means he is going to brick it. I have, of course, been playing with my main squad, which has been uh, quite a bit better shooters. I'll let Boogie take that. I will let Boogie take that. Oh, well, that's just annoying. But we get the steal. That is what I love to see. And we're going to go inside. It's made our way to OG Ananobi. And we'll give this guy a little bit of pause cheese as well. Just to let him know that he's playing like an absolute dickhead. <laughs> All right, we get another stop with Devontae Graham this time, uh, which is awesome. And we're going to go back inside to OG Ananobi throwing it down. We'll give this guy another one as well. One more pause to play with. So we'll wait until we hit a three or something uh, and we'll use that last three just to piss him off a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, he looks like his plan is just a turbo to the rim with Derek Rose, uh, which is fine. We can definitely contain that. He's coming again. Uh, and Sean Bradley, sadly, didn't want to put his hands up on that one. So we're only 5 for 10. So let's call for a pick and fade from Mr. Jason Tatum. I think he's got a pretty nice release. Uh, and there we go. We just got right round in with Devontae Graham straight to the rim. And that's going to be an easy two. So next time down, actually, we'll call that play, the quick through SCS, uh, and see if we can catch him absolutely napping. Now, the good thing about DeMarcus Cousins, I don't mind off-balling on him and just roaming around in the paint. If you want to take a three with him, that is absolutely fine with me. Uh, and surprisingly, or unsurprisingly, he's going to miss that. That is annoying, though. But that sucks to suck, doesn't it, my guy? <laughs> you can get the inbound still if you want, but if you don't make the shot, that is just absolutely tragic. We're wide open under the rim. We're OG Ananobi. We've got six points with the OG already in the first quarter of this one. Sean Bradley get back in the paint. You know what he's doing. Are we going to get the block on that? Not quite. Uh, that's annoying. Just turbo run to the rim. Uh, it's just a simulator for that this year, really, isn't it? Uh, Devontae Graham, are we going to do the same thing back to him? Yes, we are. That is how easy this game is, goddamn. But this team's actually playing pretty well. OG Ananobi doing some good stuff on the defensive end. Devontae Graham feeling nice and fast on the offensive end. Uh, and Sean Bradley, of course, absolutely. There is absolutely no way that shot. <laughs> There's absolutely no way that shot lands. This guy just spam square, doesn't he? My god. It's OG again, running on the fast break. OG is absolutely everywhere at the moment. Absolutely love to see that. Uh, yeah, this guy is just absolutely spamming square on the defensive end. Uh, and that is obviously really quite annoying. We've left Derek Rose open again. He's actually splashed that one down. Not entirely sure what Derek Rose's three-point rating is, but I didn't think it was too high. Uh, so to end this quarter, we will run this play, see if he's expecting it. Highly doubt it because he is Mr. Pro off-baller. And there we go. We get wide open. Whoa, 100% contested, my guy, what? Uh, I thought we got 100% open, but no. But anyway, we're up by six at the end of the first with a full Emerald squad. All right, he's gone for the reach, which means uh, we should have a man open somewhere. There we go, OG's wide open. We're going to Sean Bradley, who can hit a mid-range. Good lad, Sean Bradley, so seven foot six, but he can knock down a mid-range if he needs to. His close shot is pretty nice as well. And, of course, if he does get fouled, that is absolutely god-awful. Um, of course, if he does get fouled, uh, he's got a fantastic three uh, free throw rating as well. We'll go inside here. We've got all the way to Kendrick Nunn flying in. Uh, that is what I absolutely love about him and Devontae Graham. They are nice and quick. Really nice and fast. Got good dunking ratings as well, so they're both going to throw it down. Uh, that is another awful shot, my guy. That sucks to suck. But he does get the board, and OG, or Devontae Graham, gives away the foul. And OG has been absolutely everywhere, so he's been very active on the offensive end which is fantastic so all four of these guys all five of these guys really having really good showing so far everyone is a little bit tired oh my god i just went to sub out and of course uh, that's not going to be possible in this year's game so i have to take them out one by one which is of course going to take a little bit of time uh, and of course it gets glitched where you press a button and it doesn't actually do anything so that's great as well um so we'll try and get some subs in but uh, it doesn't exactly happen very quickly. We've got an awesome mismatch here. And let's just absolutely bully him. We're back down Punisher on gold. And that is surely going to be a bucket as it is. So we've got Boban coming in for Sean Bradley. 
We have got Anferny Simons coming in. We have got Pat Connaughton coming in. And, oh, my God, look at that. It's so annoying. You press a button and the menu just stays there. Look, go away. Uh, and then we also have... Uh, we'll have PJ Washington come in. I don't really want to play with Channing Fry. He's so slow. It's painful. We've got Jason Tatum here. We go one more and we go over to the corner. Oh, we had a man open. We still do. But it's Sean Bradley spotting up at the three-point line. Not entirely sure why. But look at this. Gold back down Punisher. Just bully him down low and get that to go in eight points and eight boards already for Sean Bradley, who's absolutely carrying us. You do love to see it. So we'll get the bench unit in and we'll see what they can do. We've left him open from three again. I'm happy leaving him open from three. He's just not that consistent. We've got Kendrick Nunn coming down here. And we're going to go inside to Sean, Bra Sean Bradley eventually. There we go. And again, look at this mismatch. It's just absolutely brilliant. He just bullies his way. And he gets his takeover. Sean Bradley, uh, one of the OGs of this game, played 130 times with him. He's got Steve Kerr in the game who has that horrendous release. So... Very happy letting him shoot. Uh, and who are we going to go to here? We'll go over to Sean Bradley. Uh, we had a man wide open in the corner, but it took just that little bit too long uh, to get to him. We do have a man wide open, but I just want to use this Sean Bradley. It's so fun just backing people down and then just putting it straight. Oh, oh wow. Okay, we've missed that one. But he's so big, it doesn't even matter. He clears up his own miss. And that is a double-double already. We're not even halfway through the second quarter now. And he's got a double-double. And that is, again, good defense. Uh, and, again, another brick for this guy. Sucks to suck. All right, so he's fouled us, which means the bench unit are going to be coming in now. So, Anferny Simons, Pat Connaughton, James Posey, PJ Washington, and big old Boban down in the paint. So, Anferny Simons comes in uh, with, obviously, that gold range extender. That's clear path. Surely, he's right there. Um, but I don't know how he's missed out. But anyway, he feels really nice and fast. Of course, I have had to use this card quite a bit. Uh, to get him evoed up. I don't think his evo was too much, but of course, uh, you still have to put in the work to get him done. We do have a man open, but sadly, uh, the defense is just kind of all over the place. Right, can we work this round? Boban does not have gold back down Punisher, so we can't do as much work with him as we did with Sean Bradley. Oh, I thought he might still get that one to go. So yeah, sadly, he's not as good as Sean Bradley, but he is a good alternative. That's a little bit deep. Uh, it's a very late release as well, so unsurprisingly, that's not going to go. We get the block with Big Boban, but PJ Washington gives away the foul. All right, we get the board off the missed free throw, and we're going to try and push the pace with this one. We're going to go inside with James Posey all the way to the rim through the contact like he isn't even there, and that's fantastic. So again, this bench unit, really good shooters, nice speed on them, and I'm pretty sure they can all dunk as well. That is just horrendous. Where are you going, my guy? We've got James Posey out here. Are we going to dupe him into taking the three? No, we are just going to take it inside with Pat Connaughton with a reverse layup. Absolutely no need to reverse that, but hey, it looks better. We'll take the extra style points on that one. So it looks like this guy is uh, kind of living on dying by the three ball and by the uh, three pointers. That is a cold Steve Kerr, and he's finally hit a jump shot. So we've still got a really nice and healthy lead in this one, but fair play to this guy for actually scoring one. And then Fernie Simon is just going to run down here. We're going to go inside into big old Boban, and he is going to put it down over Steve Kerr like he isn't even there, which realistically he might as well not be there when it is big Boban. When he wants to go to the rim, he's going to the rim. Right, that's going to be a backdoor cut. We saw that one coming from a mile off. And we could actually stop it. And Fernie Simons with some really good defense there. And PJ Washington is going to come inside here. We're going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just talk about that animation, shall we? Uh, obviously, I was waiting for uh, the pump fake, which is why he did that double clutch thing. But yeah, that was really weird. So I wanted to just stop, wait for him to jump and fly by me. Didn't quite work out. But anyway, we're coming to the end of the first half here. And we are in complete control, realistically. This guy's trying to get steals off the inbounds now. That's the level he's going to. But look at this. And Fernie Simons just straight through the defense like it isn't even there. Uh, and that gives us uh, nearly a 20-point lead already. So we're absolutely killing it. Uh, we're not even really having to play defense against this guy. No, <laughs> no offense to you uh, if you watch. Um, but it's not been too much of a struggle. It's going to get the shot to go there. So we're going to get the last shot of the quarter. 7.8 seconds. Loads of time to get down the floor here. Uh, and loads of time to kick it out to someone who should be wide open. They are. It's Pat Cullerton. But god damn, is he standing so far away. From the three-point line. You know how 2K is this year. Everyone just spots up from ridiculous ranges for absolutely no reason. But anyway, that is us at half-time. Completely in control. Emerald squad playing really well. Really fun. Uh, and yeah, this one is pretty much over. Out on the break, we've got James Posey. Should be throwing it down. And he does. So this guy is, yeah, bricking up everything in the first half in the start of this third quarter. Uh, again, just running straight to the rim and getting the foul from P.J. Washington again. So that's two fouls he's given away when we've been in a great position. Boban was there for the 
a stop. He probably would have swatted it away. He's got the D Wade coming in now as an Emerald card. So we know that guy cannot shoot in the slightest. Uh, he's still trying to go for some inbound steals as well. So he is still trying, uh, even though, in my opinion, he probably should give up at this point. Uh, he's still trying really hard with the off ball, uh, which, oh, wow, that was meant to be a fake, uh, which is, of course, really annoying. Pull up three, do it. See if you make it. Well, we actually did. All right, fair play, but it was only a two, so doesn't really count. All right, first three-pointer of the game, hopefully here. PJ Washington for three. Ah, oh, he's going to brick it slightly late on that one. Of course, we are playing with ten players. I haven't played with quite some time, so I'm not going to be super clued up on their releases. We haven't actually had many open threes. Uh, this guy is just sticking to the three-point line, even though he's giving up so much inside. Uh, we just don't seem to be getting too much to go. As and Fernie Simons coming in and getting that to go with a little bit of contact as well. And we are shooting 65% in this one. Uh, it's been an absolute doddle, not going to lie. Uh, this guy's chucked up a lot of bad shots. I thought he was going to do another bad one there. That would have been a bad move, my friend. And um, we've got Big Boban camping down in the paint. Uh, that is going to be an awful shot. We'll get our hands up and we'll get the board. We'll watch out for him spamming square, which he is doing, of course. We'll get this one over into the corner. If we can, we can. And it is PJ Washington for another three. <laughs> it's another miss. God damn, we just cannot hit a three. We get the steal. There we go. Have a taste of your own medicine, my son. Uh, and that is going to be Boban at the three-point line, which we do not particularly want. Let's get this back out to Anferni Simons. Uh, and let's see if we can get a three-pointer off of this. We can't, but we can go inside to Boban and kick it out to the corner if we can. Yep, yeah, we can. There we go. Right. Oh, my God. Wow. Pressed it a little bit too much there. But I knew I had the positioning with Boban, so I was more than happy to take that shot and get the and one with big old Boban down in the paint doing uh, Sean Bradley's work for him while he's sitting down having a little breather. And he green lights a free throw as well. These guys are playing really well for a bench unit, I have to say. Very, very impressed. Especially with Anthony Simons. He's done a bit of everything, as you can see there. Two boards, two assists, and four points. Feeling super quick. Oh, he's left us wide open at the three-point line. Pat Connaughton for three. And finally, we've made a three-pointer in this game. It's taken us till the third quarter to hit one. Uh, but we finally got there. So we've got 52 points with only one three-pointer. That's pretty incredible. Uh, and he's going to come inside again. Get out of Boban's house. Get the offensive board. Sadly, we're not quick enough to jump on that one. Is this going to be quitting? Surely not after he's just made a, made a bucket. But we've been very consistent in this. 20 points basically in the first and in the second. And we're doing well in the third as well. Right, okay, he didn't do anything there, so we're straight back into it. He's gone for a steal, hasn't worked out. And Fernie Simmons behind the back. Oh, no, that was not meant to be a pass there. We'll have to take a bad shot uh, just to see if we can go in. It's only 10% contested, to be fair. Um, but, yeah, my hand was kind of, like, stuck to that button. But look at Boban tracking back. What a block. He's going to expect the pass. We're just going to take this one straight inside. Uh, and Anthony Simmons is not going to be missing that one. And, oh, we get the tip but not quite the pass. Uh, and we're going to have to make some subs here. Again, Boban, look at him go on the defensive end. This is what I mean, guys. You do not need super high ratings uh, in the defensive end, especially at the centre position. You just need height. Uh, and I am probably proving that here today with big Boban and with big Sean Bradley. And we've got an awesome mismatch here. We're just going to back him down, back him down. We don't even have gold back down Punisher, but it doesn't matter. Just take advantage of a mismatch when you get it. And again, we've got to go through all of these. God damn, it's so long. Uh, doing this every time. That is a horrend... Oh, no. What, what's happened there, then? Uh, <laughs> I pressed triangle to try and get a rebound. Uh, and we've got Jason Tatum coming in the game. I didn't even want him to do that. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's fine. We Nobody nobody wants a ball. Nobody wants a ball. Absolutely nobody. Uh, we're not going to jump on that. I knew you'd expect me to bite, but we ain't about that life. I'm just trying to get my subs in. Right. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? Oh, my God. This is incredible. Let's come inside. Get out of here. Not on our watch. So, we had Kendrick Nunn at the shooting guard position. We had Devonta Graham at the point guard position. And we had... Uh, who did we have here? We had Jason Tatum. No, we didn't. We have OG Ananobi. But I can't do it. I can't make my subs. <laughs> oh, this game is absolutely incredible. Look, I've pressed triangle. Why is that Why is that menu still up then? Why has that happened? Oh, dear. Subs menus. How, how can they make something so simple be so bad? It genuinely blows my mind. Right, anyway. But why is Boban still in the game? Why has no subs been made? I'm so confused. <laughs> you guys did just see me change out all of these players, right? Uh, why is Devontae Graham not in this game? Why is Sean Bradley not in this game? Wait, what? He is. Okay, so they just haven't done the subs on the court. Okay, I'll let you off, 2K. I'll let you off. All right, so this is a 20-point game at the end of the third right here. So this one is as good as done. We've got a shooter wide open in the corner. Uh, Kendrick Nunn, you had enough time to do a proper release there. Oh, well. But, yeah, 20-point game. This one is over. So, unless something drastic happens, I'll see you guys at the end of the game.
All right, so that is going to be the end of the game as we inbound here and kill this one off. So it was only a nine-point game in the end, but uh, that's that fourth quarter, I really switched off. Uh, we had such a healthy lead, uh, and it was just not fun playing offense against this guy off-balling. So I was just sitting out the whole shot clock because that wasn't going to be fun for him, and I didn't want it to be fun for him because he was playing like a little bitch. But anyway, we got the dub. That is all that mattered. We had a good showing from pretty much every player. I'm actually really, really impressed uh, with how the team played as a whole. Uh, and yeah, that went a lot better than I thought it would. I don't usually play well in my team Unlimited. There's always that bit of a delay that I don't really enjoy. Uh, and of course, it's a completely different experience from playing offline, uh, which is a lot more chilled, obviously. But anyway, we got the dub and I cannot complain. So both our centres were absolute gods down in the paint. So Sean Bradley and Boba Marjanovic absolutely bossed it. They were absolutely key down in the paint. So look at this. Sean Bradley led this team in scoring as well. 12 points, 15 rebounds. OG coming in with 8 points. Kendrick Nunn, 3 of 9, not the best. Boban, though, coming in with 7 and 6. 4 blocks as well. Uh, Sean Bradley actually had no blocks, but Boban coming in with 4. Devontae Graham chipped in. Anthony Simons chipped in. Jason Tatum knocked down a 3. So did Pat Connaughton. James Posey, 2 for 2. PJ Washington, only 1 for 5. That wasn't the best. And then it was just the 3 guys down here that didn't score. So everyone who played... Everyone who touched the, uh, touched the floor actually scored, which is actually pretty damn cool. So you do love a team effort. So that puts us, of course, at 1-0, and o, which is fine. Probably not going to go too further than that this year. So we've been outbid on the arena, which is annoying, but we did win this Craig Hodges for 900 MT. So a very welcome addition to the club for that price. So let's just take a look at the arena that we need. Uh, so it is the... Who is it? Is it the Rockets? No, it's the, it's the Super Sonics arena. So as you can see, there's only, four, there's only five up, but as soon as I change this down to the Thunder... There will be a lot more than five. This game's auction house is just so broken. It's so annoying. Uh, but you can see there, all of them are very, very expensive. Uh, and I've been outbid on this one. So it's a bit of a shame, even 1700 Oh, we've actually got it at 1700 All right, well, we'll keep it at that. Uh, I probably won't go much higher than that just because anything more than that is a little bit too much in my opinion. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. So there's an Emerald team that, in my opinion, you could probably go 12-0 with. Very cheap. Very fun players and, uh, yeah, just good, good quality gameplay as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. A bit of a long one, but you guys seem to enjoy those. So I hope you enjoy this one as well. As usual, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.